guys, um, um, welcome back to another part of Pokemon Maniac Hex, um, Pokemon Crystal Walkthrough. Now, um, sorry about, I, for some reason, I actually found, um, my, I was able to recover my file that I thought I lost, so, never mind about what I said in my last part, guys. I, I didn't say anything, forget what I said, so here we are. Yeah, so you talk to this cop here, and he's just, um, talking about what happened when, uh, the Pokemon got stolen by three question mark. Yup, it was a male with long red hair. I battled a trainer like that. I didn't, he really didn't tell me his name. His, his name was triple question mark, but other than that, um, I, I think I'll, I'll give him a good name. And I pretty much know what I'm going to call him now. As you guys remember that, I'm going to name him after one of them. Well, after Ash's rival from the anime, Paul, um, because you know, he, he, he acts like Paul. His attitude is like Paul, he only wants strong Pokemon, he's a total moron, so yep, Paul will be his name. Mm, yeah. And, uh, I, I first, if, if you guys think it's a good name, you guys can comment it. Yeah, so thanks for helping me with my investigation. So, um, yeah. Yeah, this is terrible. Yeah, Professor, Mr. Pokemon's good discovery, yeah. Uh, 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 why did you just step back like that? I mean, I handed you the mystery egg. Yeah, it, it, it's a Pokemon egg. What? Yeah, Professor Oak gave me a Pokedex. This we nothing incredible about it, man. Chill out. Come on, a Pokedex is a Pokedex. Okay, he's superb at seeing the potential of people here. Oh, I do have what it takes to be a champion. Oh, well, thanks. I'm getting on with my Pokemon, aren't I? <laughs> yeah, the road to the championship will be a long one, but... Oh, want me to talk to my mom? I wonder what she wants from me. I, uh... Oh yeah, and he gives you a Pokeball. Um, he, he doesn't give you just one Pokeball, but he gives you five Pokeballs, so yeah. So, yeah, f five Pokeballs is good enough for me. So, back to my house to see what my mom wants. Uh, yeah, she says, oh, that's a cute Pokemon. Where did I get it? <laughs> now really, how, how is my mom supposed to understand what I'm saying if, if, if I mean, with, with just a few dots there? I mean, yeah, I don't get it. Yeah, and, and, and please save up my money for me, but, but I'll, I'll, I'll come back to get some later, so yeah. Yep, it's time to go, Mom. Yep, so anyway, um, well, nearby town, this is where we were, this is where we were at the beginning of the year, but it's, <laughs> it's time to go. Oh yeah, and this guy, he teaches you how to catch Pokemon now. If I, if I wasn't making a recording of this, I would of course say no, but since I'm recording this, I might as well just demonstrate what he's doing here. Yeah, I might speed it up. Yeah, I, I know how to catch Pokemon, so... It's pretty easy, so now I'm, I'm, I'm gonna cut off here, guys, um, and uh, cut this part off here, um, because uh, we're gonna look, yeah. So here we are back in, um, so we're back in Cherry Grove City, um, I, yeah, I actually ran into a couple of rock Pokemon, but we got some experience. Now, before we go, I reckon that we go and stock up some items here, because, uh, th this is gonna be important if we want to, um, yeah if you want to continue our way through a route. So yeah, three potions is good, two antidotes is necessary, and anything else really? What do you got? Okay, the status healing items and Pokeballs, so... Yeah. So, um, yep, Route 30 again. Um, hopefully we don't run into too many wild Pokemon, but we do! Alright, I cut that off here. This, um, oh yeah, I, I believe, um, since, um, this is, uh, yeah, I believe uh, a new berry keeps growing on, uh, on, on a tree every day, so, and it's, will come in handy. More wild Pokemon. Oh, I, I cut that off. Oh yeah, now, um, the, the roadblock is finally gone, but, um, and instead you have to battle these trainers here, and this is gonna be our first battle against an actual trainer besides our rival, Paul. You just lost so you're trying to find Pokemon. Oh, you call me weak? Well, hey, you remind me of... You, you remind... You, you're just like Paul, you know? You're the one who always tells me I'm weak. So, yeah, Youngster Joey. <laughs> it's our first, our first actual trainer battle. Hot Tamale versus a Rattata. <laughs> oh, 
you killed it? Um, yeah. Alright, there we go. And the uh, Rattata goes down. Or Rattata. I'm not, I'm not even sure how I'm, supposed, how I'm really supposed to say it. Rattata, Rattata. You lost again, doggone it. Who, who, who uses that term, doggone it? Not me, unfortunately. You're a Pokemon trainer, right? Then you have to battle. This is sort of like uh, what most trainers always say whenever you have your first battle. It's like they always say, like, when a trainer locks eyes, when, when, a, when our eyes first meet, the first thing we do is battle. Yeah, and it, it's like, it, it, it's they're always, uh, somehow, in, in a way, it can be helpful to people who are, who are new to Pokemon and, and they don't know how to play, but yeah. But I guess that's what he says. Okay, level 2 Pidgey. Would have been helpful if it was a 1 at KO, but oh well, level 9. Okay, well I'm close to leveling up. He's got another Rattata. I don't know why is it that, um, that, that, that Rattatas are always some purple. I mean, like, who, who's ever heard of, a, heard of a purple rat? I haven't, and <laughs> he, he's got a weird kind of um, animation spot when he's, like, shaking his butt. <laughs> For some odd reason, he's doing that. I, I don't know why, but <laughs> I guess he's moon. I don't know why he, he they featured a Rattata who's mooning other who's mooning other trainers. Pretty weird. That's strange. You've won before. Well, now you've lost, man. Uh. All right. Well, yeah, that's not a trainer, but oh, man, more more Pokemon. Yeah. Oh, okay. I believe this is a bug. Po Bug catcher. Oh, instead of bug Pokemon, you found a trainer. Well, yeah. Instead of what Pokemon, I found you. A bug catcher. Bug catcher Dawn. The, the, the funny thing I notice about these bug catchers, um, is, um, is, is, is they always tend to have, like, really short names like Don, John, uh, Ed, Al, and, or, or whatever names, yeah. Uh, I'm not sure why is it that they always have, um, have such short names. Okay, so yeah. one more tackle should take care of the canopy. Okay, tackle. Here we go. And Buck Catcher Don was defeated. Yeah, I, I am too strong, man. Huge. <laughs> That's because I have a fire type. Oh, okay, so so this is a new route here, and more about Pokemon. All right, now this over here is a place called Dark Cave. Um, well, did, well, really, um, you, you can still enter it, but there's really nothing much here because it, it's pitch black, and plus you need Flash to actually explore the cave, and and, and and there are some other areas that you cannot assess until you learn certain HM, until you get um, a certain number of badges. So, no, no need to worry about it. And uh, who are you? Huh, you walk too far looking for Pokemon. My feet hurt and I'm sleepy. If I were a wild Pokemon, you'd be easy to catch. Snore. Well, dude, just just stop sleeping and just and, and, and once you get out of your sleeping mode, I mean, you'll you, you'll feel better afterwards. Up against a bug catcher. Alright, so I that was quite a long battle, so I, I just decided to speed it up. Anyway, guys, um, this is the end of this part, guys. Um, rate, comment, subscribe, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll, I'll see you guys later. Bye!